everybody. Welcome to episode 60 of The Daily Decrypt. I am Amanda, happy to be here as your host, and today's episode is brought to you by New Bits. Taking inspiration from Dash's second tier of master nodes, Spreadcoin has integrated its own second tier, which they're calling service nodes. These service nodes would be required to both provide collateral and show proof that they're running a Bitcoin full node. The service nodes would then data mine the Bitcoin blockchain, sell the aggregated results to interested parties, and keep the revenue. The Spreadcoin developers say they believe they can add between two and 4,000 Bitcoin full nodes this way, increase the value of their own coin, and hope to launch in 2017. Alternative reference clients to Bitcoin Core are gaining traction within the Bitcoin network. The combination of Bitcoin XT and Bitcoin Unlimited nodes now makes up almost 12% of the network. Bitcoin XT seeks to support 8 megabyte blocks, while Bitcoin Unlimited allows users to set any cap or no cap at all. Member of Bitcoin Unlimited Peter R. has also recently published a paper about how the security of zero confirmation transactions within Bitcoin can be improved through the use of what he calls subchains. Fancy fancy. BTMs, that is Bitcoin teller machines, may warrant a name change. The Lamassu machine, which currently makes up 27% of the world's BTM count, is open source and so has been modified to sell alternative cryptocurrencies as well as silver and gold in Singapore. Today, a budget proposal has been put forth to Dash's masternodes to integrate Dash into Lamassu machines starting in Panama. According to ATM Radar, there are currently 531 cryptocurrency dispensing machines in the world. Sponsored shoutout from Wall of Coins, which is a service that makes buying or selling bitcoins for cash really very easy. Using simple in-branch cash deposits, buyers and sellers need never meet up and Wall of Coins acts as escrow. The service also offers an API to make bitcoin buying easier for first-time users, already integrated at the likes of the PostShare wallet. You can try the service yourself or learn more at wallofcoins.com. The 3.2C3 Computer Security Conference is underway and going strong in Hamburg. The event's operators are currently uploading video presentations of all of the lectures as they take place. Topics covered include anonymous communications, strengthening networks, overcoming censorship, and monetizing open source. You may remember our report on the Cottontail Group, which began selling shares for cryptocurrency in the profitability of its pleasure house, Maison Le Chat. This haven for sex workers has decided that those shares should be represented cryptographically and is now doing so via the counterparty protocol. Because counterparty is compatible with Bitcoin, the Le Chat shares will receive their payouts in Bitcoin. Today's episode has been brought to you by Nubits, a cryptocurrency that can be counted upon to be worth $1 all the time. You can learn more about how the new network achieves relative monetary stability by visiting newbits.com. We're independent members at the LTB network. We have a podcast there for you if you'd like. And today's magic word is patch. Uh-huh.